brand new gym. I got my, you know, some private lesson people coming in, and we're boxing some, and it's, you know, trying to get these guys to get their head movement better. Uh, it's, it's a topic that's always at the forefront of uh, our conversations when we're in here talking about boxing. I even make sure that, you know, like my kids' class kids, it's just such an easy and good self-defense tool that, you know, even if I have kids coming in just wanting to train Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for self-defense or whatever, I have them do this because it's just super important to be able to slip punches. If I keep my head moving all the time, you know, I'm not leaving it sit in one spot and it's just so much harder to, to get hit. Um, you know, some of the things, I think I've already got a YouTube video about our head movement drill. And that's just, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. In, out, right, left, down, up. That's, that's all we're doing. And when I do that drill, I'm going back and forth with my weight and, and I'm making sure that I bend my knee on each one. I'm, I'm using my legs to do that. If I just try to do it with my back, it just doesn't work right. You know, the one, two is a little different, but definitely with the three, four. So one, two's in and out, three, four's back and forth. Um, you know, five, six is just straight down and straight up. So that's what we started everybody with. Uh, now uh, that we're doing this, you know, I don't have to, over exaggerate this. I just want these people to do enough to vacate the space where their head is. I just have to throw in just enough head movement to screw up that other person's targeting. You know, I just have to get my head out of the way of that strike just a little bit. All right, I don't need to be down here, right? I just, just a little bit will, will help immensely. So, you know, the, the main things that my head movement is comprised of it's just that back and forth, the three, four, three, four, and then I'll throw in a U slip, U slip. If I want to practice the U slip, I'll grab somebody like this. I'll let him stick it like he's sticking his arm out here like he's doing a jab right towards my head. And then I'll just roll right under it, right? I'm going to roll right under it, just like that. I just do that drill, maybe put a minute on the clock, make sure it's my legs do it. I'm not turn you know, I'm not doing it with my back. I'm just right there like he's punching at my forehead. And I'm just rolling right under. Just like that, I should almost feel it in my hair. Right? And then when I get good, I can think about rolling up here. When I come up on this side, left hook. I come up on this side, right hand. It's just, so to wrap it up, you know, I, I like a lot of three, four, three, four, and then you slip, you slip. Now, you know, all you gotta do is throw in a hard block here and there, combine it with those, and then you've got some real nice head movement, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, you slip, you slip, and then block, block. You know, if I just practice that, you know, um, I can make some tremendous gains in that area, you know, with, you know, 20 minutes of practice a day. So I would recommend you give that a shot. It's, you know, super easy. So, the U slip drill, and then the uh, the head movement drill. One, two, in, out. Three, four, right, left, and then down, up. One, two, three, four, down, up. U slip, U slip. Maybe even a hard block, hard block. There you go. From the side.